Hi, this is Maru. I'm going to be doing a quick little demo on Melo Audio's MIDI Commander. It's a really cool MIDI controller that's allowed me to change between different presets and effects in bias effects, which is what I use for my guitar tones. It's also compatible with a lot of the modern app modelers like Axe FX, Kemper, and other software plugins. Uh, I'm gonna be demoing it with Bias FX 2. It's been really cool to have one of these because um, I don't have an amp, so I always play through Bias FX. I went over and I want to switch from like my distorted to my clean tone. I have to um, either manually do it or program it into Pro Tools. So it's been really cool to just have something that I can stomp on and quickly change from different presets and toggle different effects. So yeah, I'm just gonna do a quick little walkthrough of its main features and then just play around with it a little bit. So I have Bias Effects fired up here uh, as the standalone version. And then the next thing you wanna do is you wanna turn on your MIDI commander by holding two and pressing the power button. So what that does is it automatically tells your MIDI commander that your host uh, program is Bias Effects. So it, it'll link them together. The nice thing is you don't need drivers or any sort of software. Uh, just by powering it a certain way, you can make sure that bias effects or and your MIDI commander are talking to each other. Okay, so you want to go to audio settings and where you see active MIDI inputs, it's going to be TS MIDI 2.0. Uh, that's the input that you're going to be using, which is the MIDI commander. Okay, so the bottom row A through D is the number of banks you have. Right now in bank number eight, I have my clean tone and bank number nine, I have my distorted tone and you can keep going up or down uh, with this, these arrows, 13, 14, 15 um, or down. So those are all your banks. Right now, in order to tell bias effects that I want this specific bank to be my clean tone is I go to my tones in bias effects and you hit edit and you're gonna tell it which uh, number for the bank that you want. So right now I have it set to eight. Um, so I'm gonna hit apply and that'll save it. So now I know that number eight is gonna be my clean tone. And then if I wanna assign my distorted tone to number nine right next to it, I'm gonna go to edit and then scroll all the way down to number nine. So I already had it set up this way, but I'm just redoing it for the purposes of showing how it works. So. You hit apply and now I have my clean tone in bank number eight and my distorted tone in number nine. So now I know that I can toggle between those two presets. So now what I want to do is I want to be able to say in my clean tone, I want to be able to turn my delay and my reverb on or off, right? And you can do this with any effects in your chain. So you can uh, control your compressor, your boost, whatever effect it is that you want. Uh, I'm just gonna show you guys how to assign them. So say I want my delay to turn on and off while I'm on my clean tone with number one. Um, also, I should say the way this is organized is the bottom row A through D are your banks. So this is what I assign presets to or different tones to say clean distorted. And the top row one through four are where you assign your effects inside those um, presets. So having said that, how you assign that is you go to your chain and then right click on the effect, go to assignment, and it's gonna bring up this little window. For the purpose of this demo, I'm just gonna show how to turn it on and off. So the way you do it is you hit learn and you press whatever you know button it is you want it to turn it on and off and bias effects receives that input and learns it. So now you hit done and every time you do that, it's gonna turn your delay on or off. Uh, so same thing with your reverb. Say I want to be able to turn my reverb on and off with this button. I'm going to right click on the reverb, go to assignment, and then I'm going to hit learn. 
press that button that's going to receive the input and now I'm going to be able to turn my reverb on and off with that button. Something I've noticed is that the LED lights don't always match whether your effect is on or off. Sometimes they get inverted. For example, right now my delay is on, but the LED light is showing off. That's an easy fix. Say right now my delay is turned on and my LED light is off. I can just turn off the delay so that now it matches. Once your LED is on, your effect is on. LED off means your effect is off. So yeah, you can potentially do this with every single effect in your chain. You can assign multiple presets to using all the banks of bias effects. It's actually pretty straightforward and it's really nice because you can use the bottom row to switch between your clean and distorted and then you can, uh, you know, control all of your effects with the, uh, with the top row. I hope this was useful. It's just a little quick demo. Uh, you can find demos for XFX and for Kemper and for other software that you're using with the MIDI commander. I just have bias effects, so that's what I demoed. I hope it's been of use and thanks for watching. Mm -hmm.